I'm Middlesex District Attorney Marion Ryan. And as we begin to enjoy a little bit of this beautiful weather, I want to spend a couple of minutes talking to you about water and pool safety. You know, it's been a long few months for everyone. We've been juggling lots of things, kids out of school, homeschooling, working or trying to work at home. And everybody's gonna welcome this opportunity to get the pool open and be outside. And we want that to be fun and safe. So please keep in mind, first for everyone, do not swim alone. No matter how good a swimmer you are, you always need somebody in there or on the edge of the pool in case there's a problem. So that goes for everybody. Secondly, with respect to kids, you know, as parents or grandparents, we all think that we are even more amazing than we are and think that we can sit inside and supervise through the window or maybe be on a Zoom call while you're keeping an eye on the kids. And often that is just not effective supervision. So when you're supervising, you need to be actively supervising. And if that means that you need to designate swim times with other caretakers, so some of you are working and some of you are actively supervising, we want this to be a safe experience. Also familiarize yourself with the signs of drowning. As when I talk to kids about swimming, as I always tell them, people who need help in the water are not jumping up and down, waving their arms and yelling help, or people would be helping them. It is a silent epidemic. You do not hear the people who need help in the water. So learn those signs. Provide a way to um, safely lock off your pool and make sure that you don't put anything, whether it's toy chests or other things that are climbable, close to those barriers for the pool. And to keep yourself healthy as well as safe during these times of social distancing, remember the same rules of social distance, about six feet between everybody who's at an event, apply at the pool, and we are still not authorized to have gatherings that are more than 10 people. So have that in mind and make sure that you're really providing lots of extra hand sanitizer and cleaning, especially the entrance and exits of the pool, the high touch areas, those stair rails that you use or the edge of the pool. So be very careful about all of that. And remember, we have had a very long stretch here in Middlesex County and we want everybody to be safe and enjoy the pool. So thank you so much.